Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. This is just some of my gameplay footage from um, Season 18. To be honest, I wasn't a big fan of Season 18, but I played it anyway just to get myself in readiness to go to uh, Season 19. Hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. So, for this gameplay video, is let from uh, Greater Rift 40 to 60 using the Wave of Light build with a monk. So, I sped it up. Because, you know, actually, just to watch it is quite hypnotic, and I, I quite enjoy watching it back. Uh, but I'll interject now and again when I've actually picked up some other items and moved up from 40 to 50 to 60. So, I hope you enjoy the video. It's just some gameplay footage. You know, tune in, tune out, like, subscribe, do what you feel. This is just for my benefit more than anybody's. I enjoy making this sort of stuff. Uh, it's a bit of a hobby for me right now. And, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it and uh, hit the like and subscribe button. If not, thanks for watching, and um, come back. Come back. Come back soon. Nah, it's all good, man. This is this is just my personal project. And, uh, yeah, if you like it and you want to support me, or just show that you enjoy it or the content, even if you just want to say, look, this content's absolute garbage, that's okay too. Uh, I'm not taking anything personally. I'm just enjoying making some content.
This was the best moment I've had in Diablo for a long time. It took me forever to find Tezos. And I've got it. Boom. Thanks very much. I've just jumped from 40 to 60. And this was only in about, what, four or five rifts that I managed to get two items that moved me from 40 GRs to 60 GRs. Clearing 60 GRs with no problem. Check out this footage of the 60 GR. Uh, it's in fast motion, so you're not going to get much of the feel for it but uh, I was over the moon with this this really pushed me forward I think I actually did a 55 first apologies yep this is a 55 but you know the Tezo was like the next game changer this is what I love about um, Diablo 3 as well is that one item can change your build and then another item could change your build even more significantly and then we get to the ancients and the primals and then the augments and you know there's so many tiers to this game and that's why it keeps drawing you back in right you start from zero you get your ancients yeah sure you get your legendaries and you get your ancients and then you get your primals and then you start augmenting and then you start hitting leaderboards
so yeah, managed to do it. Got from 40 to 60. And, you know, it took about, let's say that's 10, let's say 10 riffs uh, of GRs just to get from 40 to 60. And that that's actually pretty good going. Um, there's two game-changing points, you know, when I got the Tezos and I got the Incense uh, Torch. So that was awesome. Uh, this is in perfect gear, right? It's uh, it's not great. You know, I've got crap rubies in. Uh, sorry, crap gems in. Uh, the gear is an ancient. It's it's a mess this build, but I still managed to get from forty to sixty. And you know, I'm just creeping up and creeping up. I've got some footage of a, of of a higher GRs that I'm gonna upload as well. So yeah, this is really just moving nicely forward. And again, this is why people come back to Diablo because you just see that improvement. I guess when you get to that elite level, it's more about moving up the leaderboards and getting faster times. And making sure that your augments work and make sure you got the cooldowns on you know the right builds and that's it this is my lon build sorry not lon this is legacy of dreams build from a wave of light monk don't forget to become a member of the armchair heroes all you've got to do is hit the like button hit the subscribe and most importantly comment ach in the chat and you will get on our wall of fame keep up the good fight my name is db and i'll speak to you all again soon